Besides, you know my mom. If I had called her and not speak, I would have been in the hospital bed right now. Babe, I can't wait to pop this baby out. I feel like it will. Honey. Chris. Hmm? Um so sorry, I I was lost for a second. You were saying? Um if you feel um the need to um You weren't listening. I'm sorry. I got carried away. Chris, what is happening? What is the problem? You've been like this since you, you got back from work. Even at dinner, you were acting strange. Is there anything happening in the office? No. Don't worry your head about it. But, babe... Listen, I can handle it, okay? You know what? <clears throat> Come here. You've had a long day today, okay? Come. Sleep. Right? That's my girl. Easy. Here you go. I love you. I love you too. So you are alive. Like really, really alive. I suppose I am. And I suppose you're angry. Clearly. Are you kidding? You left and dropped one stupid note that says, Mom, please don't look for me. How do you think that made us feel? And 
angry? Alone and abandoned. You, you know what? Just avoid me. See. <laughs> How are you? Considering what you've done so far, you sure have some guts, you know. Besides, it's not like she can drink anyway. And since when can't she drink? Let me guess. She's expecting. Oh, <laughs> how would she know? She hasn't been around, right? She just surfaced. Anna! Are you, are, are you serious? Shy had of eight weeks. Please keep this to yourself. Lara and I are not telling people yet. Of course, of course. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, now that you're glowing and looking up pretty. <laughs> Lara is doing a good job taking care of you, you know. Mm. Should I be surprised you know so much about what's been happening? Even though you haven't been around. Um, please, where is she? Where's my goddaughter? She's at Mom's for the weekend. Amanda, you know, I still cannot believe it's been four years. I mean, going to five years. Four years, no calls, no tests, nothing. I'm sorry, girls. I honestly am. Um, you know, a lot was happening all at the same time and I couldn't wrap my head around it. Chris being my brother, then he wasn't, and Desmond, and he dies. It was just too much for me to handle. You should have told us. Why are we friends if you can't tell us? I know. I didn't want to take you girls on the roller coaster, right? I have one question. Are you here to stay this time or you plan on running away again? I am done running. Although the one person I came back for is already married, but I won't run. I also have a lot of patching up to do with my mom. So I'm here to make this place my home. Good. Especially for my daughter. <laughs> I just feel like breaking your head. Come on, come and take a hug. <laughs> I should join! And don't you ever put this kind of stuff hey, in. Hey, hey, hey. You have to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I've missed you girls so, so much. I'm sorry. Hey, what? Generational chorus. Mandy, are you for real? Are you on drugs or something? Mandy, of all the thoughts you could come up with, is that. I'm just saying. Say what? That you and your mom are cursed? Love cursed. It, girls, it could be. Fine. How do you explain the fact that? My mom, despite all the money she has, never got married, yet she had children. And now me. What about my baby? What if she ends up like us? Don't you think you're a little bit too fast and thinking about this? I mean, you're quite young and you're very beautiful. I believe men will start tripping at your presence if you make yourself available. I don't think you're cursed. Exactly. Listen, Amanda, I know you've been unfortunate so far with love, but I don't think it has anything to do with being cursed. 
I personally think it's too early for you to predict what's going to happen in 20 years plus from now. But I... I... Look, Mandy. Stop thinking about this. What will happen will happen. Stop jumping into conclusions. <sighs> Amanda. Although it seems time has passed between you and Chris, it certainly doesn't mean you won't find someone who will make you feel special again. Hmm. Says the girl who doesn't want to come out of her web and give love a try. What are you saying? Anne, don't you want to eat your food so you don't starve your baby? Hmm. What's going on between you? I don't even know what this girl is talking about. Just eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's up, man? Have you heard? About what? I guess you've heard. Because you know you got to know. When? Two days ago. She came by the office. What? She knows where you walk? How? Apparently, she's been keeping tabs on me. Oh, she's stalking you, right? She's not a stalker. She's not stalking me, okay? Okay. What now? I mean, what next? What do you mean, what now? She's back, and so? What do you want me to do? Drop everything and go running back to her? Calm down, Chris. I obviously not expecting you to to do all of that you just said. She's in your head, right? Hope you're not planning to do anything stupid. Jesus Christ. Chris. It's been four freaking years and counting. And she's moved on. So have you. You are married. Don't forget. She has a child. Oh. Well, that's good. It means she's married. So you shouldn't bother yourself because you have a baby on the way. She's three. And she's not married. That's not so good. Chris. Talia, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Nice of you to call. How's wifey? Oh, she's she's fine. Uh, quick one. Do you have Amanda's number? Amanda? Which Amanda? Come on, Talia. You do have a number, right? Chris, I really don't know what you're saying. Talia. <sighs> okay, fine. But please, Chris. Don't tell Amanda I gave you this number. I beg you. Don't worry about it. I, I got you. Thank you. Okay, thank you.
Why is he calling me? And how did he even get my number? Hello, Chris? How did you get my number? Don't worry about it. Where are you? We need to talk. Talk about? Don't worry about it. Well, I'm... I'm... I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit busy. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite busy. I, and I have to check my, my schedule. I, I... I'll pick the time and place. Send in the address now. Make sure to be there. Is everything all right? Chris. Christopher. Did you miss me? Mm? I hope you had so much fun with Grandma. I hope you did. Mm? And I hope you didn't trouble Grandma. Oh no. She's been nothing but an angel. Really? I can't believe how much I've missed out in her life. <sighs> We're here now. So you can go all the way out. Only that you shouldn't spoil her completely. That's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> Amanda, are you okay? I mean, you look worried. Is there anything the matter? Is it perhaps Chris? Are you finally going to tell him? I already did. He seemed okay and everything at first, but I guess not anymore. I just got off the phone with him and he sounded the least happy and he wants us to talk. Have you now seen the reason I was against you telling me about Precious in the first place? Have you seen it? Now what does he want to talk about? I don't know. And he has every right to know we had the child together. But he's married. I'm not a fool, mom. I know the hands of time have changed and I have accepted that. Maybe you should do so too. And stop reminding me with every passing second. It's alright. <laughs> I'm missing her already. <laughs> I'm testy. What do you have? Do you want um, juice or water? Water. <laughs> Jeez, I'm missing you already, sweetheart. <laughs> You're missing already. You just had her. Sorry, I'm late. 
Um, it's, <clears throat> it's, it's okay. Uh, you're here. That's all that matters. Do you care for anything to drink? No, it's fine. Thank you. What? Why are you staring at me like that? Um... <clears throat> you look so beautiful. Still feels like yesterday. I know, right? But that's all in the past now. You said you wanted to see me, so I'm here. You sound like you didn't want to see me. Did you want to meet me? I mean, after all these years, did you ever think of me? Did you miss me? Chris, if this is why you've called... If you I... didn't, then why did you come? Are you serious right now? We have a child together. How would you feel if you, if you found out tomorrow that I had a daughter for you without letting you know? I don't know about you, but I do know that my daughter would really appreciate the presence of a father in her life. Isn't that what you want? What about you? What do you want? Christopher, I am not doing this with you. Do you miss me? Chris, you have a wife! And sooner than later you would be expecting your bundle of joy. Would you answer the question, Amanda, and stop running in circles? Did you ever, even for a split second, miss me? When you're ready to see your daughter, you let me know and I'll arrange for it. Do not walk out on me, Amanda. The last time you did, it broke me. Do not do it again. I know I made some mistakes in the past And my past is here haunting me I'm not gonna run away It's time to fix all the things I got wrong in the past <laughs> I know I made some mistakes in the past Amanda Chris, what are you doing? For four years For four freaking years and you come back to give me this attitude? For crying out loud, do you know what I went through back then? I went mad. I went crazy all because Can of you. you. Stop it. You're causing a scene. Am I? Also, now you, 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 you are worried about your reputation? Fine. I accept it, okay? I messed up. But you're not without blame. For crying out loud, you got yourself a wife. You moved on so quickly and it really baffles me if you truly loved me like you proclaimed. Chris, I have moved on. If I can accept it, then you can. I know so, I made some mistakes me? in the past And my past is here haunting me I'm not gonna run away It's time to fix all the things I got wrong in the past I know I made some mistakes in the past And my past is hurting me I'm not gonna run away It's time to fix all the things I got wrong in the past It's time to mend the broken bond Time to reveal the secrets I kept Cause I'm not gonna run away It's time to right all the things I got wrong in the past It's time to mend the broken bond Sorry, I had to 
Come on, what's wrong? What happened? <laughs> Taya told me you were going to see Chris and. <laughs> I thought I was really overhearing. But I'm not. I'm not even close to being overhearing. It's okay. No. It hurts. Not so much. It hurts. <laughs> Are going to be fine for the hundredth time, babe. They will be fine. These are grown up ladies. Thanks, Larry, for clearing that up. Please take her home. You heard already. <laughs> Can't go home. See you, take. Good night. All right, good night, guys. Bye. Larry picked her up. The room called. Precious won't be home tonight. Thought you might need the servitude. You should go home too. The last thing I need is a babysitter. I had a fallout with my old man. I'm going to be here for a while. You want to talk about it? No. Okay. I want you to know that whatever decision you would take in the end, don't ruin her home. What do you mean by that? Amanda will both know what I'm talking about. We ruin our home. That's so rich coming from you who calls herself my friend. That's precisely what I'm talking about. I am your friend. I know you. And I know you're at the point of making a costly mistake you're going to regret. Done that, burned from it, and still living with the consequences of that one decision. That was my undoing mistake. And you think if I can turn the table, I wouldn't? You'll be burning a woman soon. And mine has been burned to ashes. I have nothing left in me. Talia, is it fair that I have to sit here and watch the man I love? The man who should have been mine, playing husband with another woman? He belongs to me, not her. And here I am, 
wallowing in the thoughts and, and fantasies of what would have happened if he was mine. I thought you were sleeping. What are you doing here? I should be asking you that. What's going on? What's going on? You, you've been acting really strange for some time now and you've been keeping distance. Is it the same issue at work? No, no. Um, I told you that issue has been resolved. It's not. Then what is it? What's happening? You are awake by this time and you're not even walking but drinking. Are you crying? No, it's my eyes. Baby, look, you worry too much, okay? Let's get you back to bed. No, I am not going anywhere until you talk to me. What is happening? It's nothing I can't handle, okay? Look, I promise I will not bring my problems home so as not to worry you too much. Let's, let's go back to sleep, right? I'll be fine. Uh, let me drop this. Oh, sorry. I'm seriously sorry. I, it's Thanks. Thank you so much. You know, it's it's really difficult doing certain things these days. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I I can understand. You have a child? Yes, I have a daughter. Then you understand. <laughs> she must be an angel. Uh, 
She is, but she is quite a handful. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, have we met before? I, I think I know you. <laughs> I don't. I, I, I don't think so. It's, Okay, okay. Just that you look so familiar. Like, I, I think, I don't know. I don't know where or how, but it feels like we've met before. Thank it's you. All right. Have a wonderful day. You too. Sweetheart. Thank you. Where are you coming from? What do you think? I stopped at the shop to see you. I'm not really there. Please, I've been calling you in the I can't take my calls. I want to call Uzochi for me to check on you. Are you okay? I think it's the flu. Just, you know, came around so you can help. Always there for you, Mama. And you need to start opening up to me. You worry that I'm keeping something from you. What happened because of your secrets? It wouldn't be that easy to let everything down the drain, don't you think? <sighs> it's alright, I. It's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, have you seen Jacob? Lily. What? Please let him go there. Please. There's no need for me to see him. I'll get you something to eat. You're just too stubborn for your own good. Phoebe. Okay. You know, it's so rare to find people like that these days. That was a risky thing for you to do. I know. Why did you even go there in the first place? You should have told me. You know you have a lot going on at the office and I didn't want to add to your problems. Seriously? A lot going on at the office and you don't want to add to my problem. It is my duty. It is my responsibility to provide for you. Do you know that? I know. So please, next time you tell me. Mm. In fact, I'm going to restock the house tomorrow. Okay, sir. Thank you. But can we do something else? Something like what? No restocking. Because I know what I want right now. There's ice cream in the fridge. I, I do not want ice cream. You don't want I ice? do not want ice cream. So what do you want? I want you. Oh, oh, mm, okay. Mm, All right, you. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you are... <laughs> Hi, Hi, Andrew. Longest time. How have you been? I've been all right. I've been fine. Mm -hmm. I, I must say you're looking beautiful. Has anyone ever told oh. you that today? <laughs> Thank you. If your boyfriend never said that, that means uh, he must be a moron. <laughs> that I told her. Girls like her deserve compliments always. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. Um, <clears throat> I'm Francis, oh. Talia's friend in arts. We're just um, out eating. 
Okay, my name is Lois, not Andrew, by the way. You know, Talia gets crazy when she's mad at someone, but... I know, I know, witness firsthand. <laughs> See, I went to your office, but you weren't there. I need some merchandise. Maybe one or two. I don't know if you can help me out today. I, I can take you back to the office. Uh, no, no, Francis and I were going to somewhere. Babe, babe, and... It's it's fine, okay? You can just go do your thing. Besides, I have um, I have to go to the airport to pick up a friend of mine, okay? I'll see you later. Okay. Right? Yeah. <laughs> nice guy. I like that. <laughs> I like that. You scared him. What was I supposed to do? How was I supposed to get your attention? It better be true about this merchandise. More so, I thought you came here to eat. Business first. I never asked you to help me with the video. I can't believe this. You mean you did that just to get to talk to me? So you weren't talking to me. You weren't taking my calls. How else was I supposed to have reached you? I'm still not talking to you. Friends don't turn enemies when they break up, you know. <laughs> this is funny coming from you. I mean, that was the same ground to broke up, not to see or talk to each other. Anyways, I wanted us to talk about our friends. I learned Amanda has a daughter and she is crystal girls. I don't see how that's my business. Are you serious? Honestly, you don't know what is happening right now. Listen, if nothing is done, those two are going to get themselves in something they will regret. It is obvious you don't you don't you don't get this and and All right. I will. I'll see you later. Okay. Your car is fixed. Basically, I'll get it home for you. Then. Uh, Stop this car. She do what? I said, stop the car. I will not until I get to you. <laughs> Louis, if you don't stop this car, we're going to get into a very messy accident. Stop this car. I will not stop this car. I said, stop this car. Where? Louis, you freaking stop this you car. Stop, stop the car. What is I said, stop the car. Rubbish. Don't you dare in your life ever.
crazy. What are you doing now? Care to drink with me? Oh. She was right when she said I, 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 I didn't love her. Mm. Because if I did, I wouldn't have, you know, moved on to the next one so quickly. You're right. You're right. But I waited. I waited. You were there and you know it. Yeah. You're right. How can she say that I, I never loved her? She doesn't want to have anything to do with me. She doesn't want me. She doesn't want me, Louis. Maybe that's an eye-opener to tell you that both of you are not meant for each other. How about that? What do you think? What are you saying? Are you listening to yourself? I love her. I love Amanda, Louis. Yeah. But she doesn't want me. Oh, she doesn't want you. She doesn't want me. She doesn't want me. Why doesn't she want me? Why doesn't she want you? She's supposed to want me. She's supposed to want you. You're my friend. Yeah, you're my friend. You know? We are supposed to know. Yeah, you, we, you are supposed to know. We. We are so... Oh, your phone. Hey, your phone. Your phone, your phone. Oh. Who is that? It's the wifey. Hey, your wife. Mm -hmm. This is our call. Hello? Hi. Hello. Henry, where are you? What's going on? I've been calling you. It's almost 2 a.m. in the morning and you're not back. Yeah, it's me. It's me, Luis. <laughs> It's me, Liz. Liz? What are you doing with Chris's phone? Are you with him? Oh. Yes. Something like that. Something like I I I I actually asked him to come help me out on something. Yes, for my company. You know we're getting ready and there. Uh maybe we'll get listed. So enough. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. I, I think he mentioned something like that some time ago. It skips my mind. Have you guys had something to it? Anything to it? Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> it's way into the night. Of course, he wouldn't have gone to bed without taking something. Yeah, I fed him well. I gave him something to eat. <laughs> Thank you. It means I was worried for nothing. I'm so sorry. Hey, of course you were worried for nothing. You were. You were. Well, good night. Just relax yourself. Go to bed. Be safe. Okay? Yeah, I will. Alright. Bye. She has ended it. She has ended it. Bye. Bye bye. Why are you saying bye? She, she already ended the call. Why did you say bye? Bye so many times. I said bye. Bye. Uh, because I, I was the one that took the call. And she ended the call. She ended it because she, she got tired of listening to my story. Story time. Sorry, man. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. <laughs> For shows. Mm. Annabelle. I noticed you've been playing with your food. You don't like it. All right, I can get some other thing for you. No, and I, it's just that I don't, I don't have appetite anymore. I don't like the aroma from the stew. Are you expecting? How did you know, ma'am? <laughs> I knew it. I mean, your clue is written all over you. <laughs> As a mother, I've seen some changes, you know. Your boobs is getting bigger. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, okay, let me go. I'm happy. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Hmm. Oops, I'm happy. So my little angel here will soon get a playmate. <laughs> yes, very soon, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Believe me, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. If only my daughter here, you know, will listen to my advice, go out with friends, you know, who knows? She might get for herself a Prince Charming. Enough, Mom. Enough what? Please. Is this why you invited them over? To somehow convince me to see Jake? I suppose you girls are aware of this, right? What? About you saying Jake. No, I'm just hearing this for the first time. But I do not think it's a bad idea if you are to see him. Besides, you need a distraction to get out of this web. And who said I'm caught up in any web? Wait, wait, wait. You guys think the only reason I'm not giving other guys a chance because I'm still hung up on Chris. Really? Just calm down. Everyone on this table is just concerned about you and the decision you will eventually make. That's a sweetheart. You are such an angel. Believe me, you have a bright future ahead of you. If only you can let go of the past. The bright future you ripped me off, Mom. Don't forget that. I am over Chris. Okay? Yet you came back single, hoping that he will return. Except he's married now. Hey, listen. If you don't get hold of your emotions, you will end up being a home wreck. I'm done with this conversation. Amanda. Amanda. I think we should just let her be. So what are you saying?
then I should skill with you back to myself. Guys, I, I want to say something. Whatever you're doing, do not screw this. I don't understand. What are you talking about? Of course you know what I'm talking about. Bro, this whole Amanda shit has got to stop. You're a married man. You are married to a beautiful woman and you're expecting a child. You have to stop this. You have to kill this, this, this feeling, this, this lust. Lost? You think what I feel for her is lost? Of course, that's what it is. A better and logical explanation to this madness. And you have to kill it. Bro, you know it's Amanda we're talking about. Crazy. Have you been listening to me at all? Miranda, that's your wife's name. Not some ex who just came back from nowhere after some years of radio silence. Miranda was the woman you made a promise to before God and man, to love, cherish, protect and respect. So what's happening? I am not a preacher, right? So I'm preaching. <sighs> hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, sis. Where are we starting from? Just relax. I'll do everything, okay? Don't stress yourself. Yeah. Oh, the same thing. Mm -hmm. Better. Oh. See, don't worry. You're going to love this echo, okay? So fine, right, sis? Sis, sis. Yes. I yes. Yes, true. You are not listening. What's wrong with you these days? You are here, but your mind is not here. You've been thinking, and you know it's not good for you and the baby. Faith, I don't know what is wrong. I feel like a strong wind is about to sweep me under. I don't understand. Does it have anything to do with my brother-in-law? 
he has changed so much. So much from the man I used to know. From the man I married. I don't know what is wrong. I feel like I do not know him anymore. Like he's not here with me. Sis. Sis, you worry too much. Yes. You and I know Chris loves you. Whatever fear you have is definitely the nerves. And I've told you times with that number. Stop worrying about trivial matters. Okay? Please, cheer up. Okay? We need to decorate this room. Cheer up, cheer up, cheer up. Yes, ma. I've heard you. Now you're talking. <laughs> so, oh, this is so beautiful. Like oh, my handwork. <laughs> My and all. Thank so, you, please. Yeah. So we need to put this one somewhere. So what if I put it there? Are you? Better. You need to smile. <laughs> Karina. My dear. Come on. <laughs> Karina, believe me. I was surprised when you told me you were coming over with Jake. Oh. Hmm? I mean, he should have been hanging out with friends since, you know, he left home for a very long time. I mean, he should be receiving old memories with friends and not you. Thank God you know Jake has been away for a very long time. And then now he is finally home. Hmm. I thank God. I don't know how you see it. But for me, it's a miracle. I really thank God. Eh? I thank God. God has answered my prayer, my dear. Mom! What? Eh? Am I lying? No, 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 no. I'm not lying. Julie, mm -hmm. just leave me to enjoy the company of my son. First, be cool. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> well, Aunt Juliet? My mom is actually right. You know, I miss her so much. And I know she missed me as well. Yeah. But I'm here now, finally. Um, he is here for two things. Oh, jeez. My dear, one, to take over the family business. Oh, yes. Two, to get a good woman, fall in love, Karina. and settle oh. down. Hmm. Julie, I can't wait to carry my grandchildren. Very Mom. Son? <laughs> <I'm lying. laughs> <laughs> Julie! <laughs> yes, sweetheart. Oh, hello! Wow. Who do we have here? Amanda. Hello! <laughs> Jane! Hey? Is this really you? Uh-huh. This is me. Oh, it feels good to have you here. Oh, oh, same here. Back. Same here. <laughs> well, I'm glad my presence makes someone feel good. Uh, <clears throat> you and your arrogance. Some things never change. No, Good evening, Auntie. Oh, Good evening, Mom. Well, I thought we've become invincible because of Jake. Mom. Mm -hmm. Don't mind your mom. Jake is worth the attention. <laughs> oh. How are you, my dear? I'm fine, Auntie. Oh, um, no, I know you're very glad to have him home. Yeah, so much. Very, very well. <laughs> <laughs> Stop now. <laughs> You're crazy. Okay. I can't stop making that a joke of you. I swear to God. <laughs> Wait, you, you think you're any different? Uh, you have a good sense of humor, you know. Well, I'm glad I'm able to make that impression of you. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> I guess this is the part where. I get to ask for your number. And what makes you think I'll give you that? Well, apart from wanting to explore more of my sense of humor, I can't think of any other reason. So what's it going to be? You give it me or not? Look, I know we kind of grew up together and we lost touch at a point, which is you're doing if I'm mad. 
But I don't think it's necessary we rekindle our friendship. Oh, come on, don't leave me like that. Did they put you to this? Your mom and my mom? No! I, I, I mean, why, why would you even think like that? Come on. Look, we're friends. And I don't think it's wrong for friends to have each other's number. You think it's wrong? Should I have your number? Je suis quoi mm. I'm sorry, I couldn't make your breakfast. It's okay. I'll make deal with snacks when I get to the office. Are you okay? You don't look good. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just... I'm a little bit tired. Okay. So if you need any other thing, let me know. Sure, um, thank you. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me again. I'm so sorry. Amanda, please. Please don't leave me. Is this why you've come all the way here? Really? Is this some sort of setup between you and Aunt Karina? Setup? Hell no! You know, I was just being curious. That's it. I was thinking something was happening. Knowing how well both of you clicked back. Mom! Jacob and I are friends. Of course we would try reminiscing on the past, but that doesn't mean something sparked between us. Is that it? Oh, you know, I thought both of you would just make a wonderful couple. You know Jack is such a wonderful young man, you know that. He has a good business running it with his friends. He's such a smart young man. Come on. I can't believe we're having this conversation. Who knows? He might occupy your mind till you forget about this whole feelings about her. Uh, Chris. Uh, 
That's my baby daddy calling. And I haven't taken his calls in weeks simply because my mom and friends believe I'm fueling him. Supposing you guys are right. He's the one with the problem, not me. Come on, sweetheart. I'm just, you know, looking out for you. Um, I, 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 I didn't realize you, you picked. I, I thought you'd go into voicemail again. No, I picked up this time. By the way, what were you doing that you didn't realize I picked? I'm in a beauty court. Um, trying to get rid of this crazy, hateful pimple that I found nowhere else to appear but on my handsome face. Um, do you have any idea on how to get rid of pimples? No. Is that why you called? Uh, yes. I mean, um, and also to, to ask you, to humbly ask you again, if you can um, go out on a lunch date with me. And it's okay, um, I, I, I know what the answer is gonna be. And it's okay with that. Um, I'll just, you know, I'll just keep asking. Just hope that you consider it one day. Fine. Lunch it is. Really? Um, <laughs> yeah, so, um, uh, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, Jake, I know I haven't been the best of anything, but I have my reasons. Okay, so this reason you're, you're ready to throw out of the window for me? I mean, I appreciate it though. So, what's it gonna be? Should I come pick you up or? No, you don't have to. I'll figure my way out. Just um, text me the location. Um, okay, um, I'll just ask my friends because I, I barely know my way around here. And so, okay then, I'll, I'll let you know. Sure. Good night. Bye. Right. Good night. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Sorry. Maybe sorry. You look stunning. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. 
Um, you clean up nicely too. Oh yeah, I get that a lot. Uh, <laughs> so arrogant. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> 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 you are crazy. How could I, you do that? I know, but it, it kind of felt awkward. But then, come on, this is 21st century and every guy, I mean, almost every guy does that. So mm. it's, it's nothing. Not every guy, just you. I'm not a devil. Mm. It's you, not me. Mm. You must have killed that confidence for real. I mean, for real. Well, not like I care, but I don't completely agree with that because she slept with my friend. And send me the sex video. It's a lie. She did. No copy. <laughs> Weird, right? Don't joke. <laughs> no, it's not you joke. It... <laughs> Don't joke. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's messed up. Well, the good thing about it is, um, they ended up getting married. The bad boy got tamed by the by the girl, and now they have like two kids. And I was the best man. You you were what? Mm. Mm -mm. You know, you know this feeling when you don't know. Excuse me. You don't know whether to be happy or to be sad, but I don't care. Like <laughs> it's not even my business. Oh. Well. You, you love messy situations, so I'm not surprised. Hmm, messy situation, right? Yes, you do. Come on, am I not bad? You are, you are not that bad. I am not. Bad. You're not even a good guy at all, don't oh, worry. Oh, come on, <laughs> no, don't worry. <sighs> come on, Amanda, answer your phone. Answer your damn phone. Amanda, pick up. Is she ignoring me? <sighs> Hello? Amanda, what's, what's your problem? What is, what, what is your damn problem? You don't want to talk to me? What have I done to deserve this, this treatment? Oh, you don't want to talk. You're playing deaf on the phone. My friend, speak, God damn it! Baby, it's me, Mira. Who is this Amanda that you're so mad at? What did she do? Um, baby. Uh, I, I thought it was someone else. Uh, a client wants me to, um, to, to run his, his account and I, I, it's okay, it's okay. You do not have to explain all of this to me because I will never understand them. Yeah, I, I'm sorry again. I, I didn't look before picking up the call. Um, why did you call? Oh, uh, well, let's ask you. I, I just found it. Yeah, I'll see you when you get back. an amazing day. Thanks for bringing me home. See, I told you I could be so much fun. <laughs> and I'm glad I was able to make you laugh all day. Yes, you were. You're an amazing guy, Jake. 
It makes me wonder if all these women are blind to this kind of potential. <laughs> well, let's see if you are too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, um, why don't you let me drop you and your daughter home? Uh, no, no, no. I don't want to risk waking her up. She's already at mom's place, so it's okay. Alright, um, if you say so, that means I'm gonna be... Good night. I am thinking I'm the only one with a nosy mom. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, we have amazing moms, that's all I can say. <sighs> yeah, I was just a mom. Mom! Privacy? Wow. There is nothing down there that I've not seen before. Take your milk. Drink it before it gets cold. <sighs> Waiting. Do you mind, Mom? Drink up. Then I'll leave. Mom. What? Wow. Thank you. Good boy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Bye bye. My regards to Amanda. she know I was the one on the phone? I don't know. How am I supposed to know? I mean, I, I was just... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Mommy's boy. I, wait, are you sure you're still supposed to be up at this time of the night? You know, it's way past your bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> you still drink milk. Oh my goodness. Milk. Oh my goodness. <laughs> nice try. But you have to try harder. You know, let's just forget about my mom. Yeah, so as I was saying... So much. I have to go now. Be good, okay? Yeah. All right. Don't miss me too much. Love you.
Hi. Yeah. Yeah, you have it delivery. Thank you. Wait, sign here. Thank you. Thank you. trying to stay calm. Please. I need you to tell me the truth. All I want is an answer. Please, I beg you, do not let me hang in here. Mira, you see, I... I, I, I know that he is your friend. I know that you would want to protect him as much as you can. I know all of that. But I am your friend too, right? And I matter to you at some point. Of course you matter to me. And you know I won't lie to you, right? Then tell me the truth. I am not an idiot, Louis. I know he has a past that he has kept away from me completely. I kind of stumbled upon your discussion with him every now and then. I hear him call her name. So tell me, is it her? Is it that Amanda? I bet you don't know. He called her name while sleeping. He calls her name while making love to me. In fact, he was certain that he was making love to her and not me. Do you know how and what it feels like to have this epiphany on such a moment of your life by the one person you thought you know? Or did I do wrong? Why would he do this to me? Why? Why would he betray me on our matrimonial bed? Why? What did I do wrong? What did I do? Mira, please stop, okay? Just calm down. <laughs> Don't worry, okay? Don't worry. I, I promise to talk to him and get him back on track. But for the meantime, you need to hang in there. Don't do anything rash, okay? Oh my goodness. Listen, it's not that serious. Oh, okay, how do I explain this now? Um, we're just exploring. <coughs> You were just exploring. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, madam. While you're on this exploration, don't you think you guys should at least hasten up? I mean, get into action. Probably tidy knots. Babes, I feel like I'm the only one left out in this and 
it's quite boring. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Says the girl who got hitched by the most caring and attentive guy. Very funny. Amanda, I am serious. I'm the only one pregnant in our circle. I thought we were besties. Can't we do this together? Uh, uh, please, please, don't say that now. Huh? Life is a race and everybody should run their race. Mm -hmm. Except maybe Amanda here would want to join you. Speaking of that, how is our potential in law doing? When is the date? What date? Uh, please, oh. Jake and I are just like you and Francis. Yes, nothing serious is happening. Besides, he's not my type. Amanda, nothing will happen if you continue to be aloof with this guy. Huh? You can't know what he is or who he is if you continue like this. Talia, I know exactly who he is. And he's my friend. I just like hanging out with him. That's it. Is this because of Chris? Excuse me? Yeah, the reason you're not giving um, Jake a chance, is it because of Chris? <sighs> Amanda, this guy likes you. What am I even saying? This guy is in love with you. <sighs> you can't keep putting him through this roller coaster all because of Chris. Talia, calm me down. Take it easy. You're being so judgmental. Really? Mm -hmm. Am I? You want her to find love and happiness again. Why can't she want the same thing for herself? Instead of wasting your time on some guy who will never be yours. You know what? Let's just, just forget it. I, 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 wait, wait a minute, Vitalia. What's this? What's, what's all this about? I don't get it. Look, I'm sorry. Okay? It's not in my place and I shouldn't have. You know what's more stupid? Apologizing when you don't mean it. I, I, I don't get it. Did I do anything wrong? Wait. Does this have anything to do with your breakup with Louis? Es excuse me? You think I'm blaming you for my breakup with Louis? Huh? <laughs> God. Are you for real? Listen. You had nothing to do with what happened between us. Okay? The world does not revolve around you. Then why are you always angry? Why do you always... I hate you doing this. Even as if it doesn't matter, but it does. Every single thing you do is a deciding factor. How can you not get that? And even if you do so, how will you live with that? What do you want me to do? It's not my fault that I can't force myself to fall in love with him. And it's not that woman's fault that she fell head over heels in love with Chris and decided to marry him. Amanda, you hold the key to their happiness and your own freedom. Depends on what you decide. She has never done anything like this. Where could she be? I know my sister. She's not the type to do something like this. Well, unless something is going on. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You think we fought or something? Look, I haven't done anything to your sister. And even if we're having problems, we would have solved it by now and you never know about it. Whatever it is, it has nothing to do with me, okay? I just hope so. Sis. Sis. Sister. Where have you been? I've been calling your phone. You weren't answering. Oh. I'm sorry, my phone was on silent mode. It's fine. Are you okay? It's all like you to just go off like that. Is everything alright with you? Have you had something to eat yet? How do you expect me to eat when I'm worried sick of your whereabouts? Where have you been? I'm 
talking to you. See you. Mira. Mira, you, are you walking out of me? Mira! Can you, can you imagine? This guy likes you. What am I even saying? This guy is in love with you. <laughs> you can't keep putting him through this roller coaster all because of Chris. Talia, calm me down. Take it easy. You're being so judgmental. Really? Mm -hmm. Am I? You want her to find love and happiness again. Why can't she want the same thing for herself? Instead of wasting your time on some guy who will never be yours for four freaking years and you come back to give me this attitude? For crying out loud, do you know what I went through back then? I went mad, I went crazy, all because Why of you. you. Stop it, you personal sin. Am I? Also, now you, 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 you are worried about your reputation? Fine, I accept it, okay? I messed up, but you're not without blame. For crying out loud, you got yourself a wife. You have done so quickly and it really baffles me if you truly loved me like you proclaimed. <laughs> They all believe I'm going to be their own. But I have a question to ask. Do you think I am capable of destroying that home? <sighs> Even you believe so too. Listen, I don't know anything about all you just said. The one thing I know is that you're not a bad person. You're not. You'll never hurt anyone intentionally. That's just who you are. No? That's a bit comforting. Oh, it's okay. Um, enough of all this self stalking. Let's just get out of here. Let's go somewhere and have fun. Really, Jake? Uh huh. Please, I don't want to go anywhere. Oh, come on. What are you going to be doing here all day? Sulk around and blame yourself over something that none of us, none of us are even sure would happen. Come on. Go out, free your mind, talk to people, just get some air, and trust me, you're gonna be
be just fine. Fine. I'll go get dressed. That's exactly what I want to hear. Let's go. Get up. Well, bad influence, you know. Uh, come on, let's get out of here, man. Thank you. Right back. You may have your own company, but I have a boss that I report to, okay? You don't ask me to come here when you know you're not going to be here early. I am sorry, man. I, I actually had a meeting before coming out. You sounded urgent when you called. What's up? Are you going to talk or what? Huh? Can we order something, please? Oh, yeah, um, before we go in, I think I should just let you know that Talia and Francis are here. And you brought me here still? Uh, look, babe, I know you guys are angry at each other. Well, how long can you be angry for? She's still your friend. I mean, you don't, you don't even have to talk to her. Like, you just... Just act natural and, and we're good. All right? Fine. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. I'll get the door. You're welcome. What are you saying? You want me to do what? Come clean? What did I do? Are you seriously asking me that? Of course you have to. You have to tell her this part of your life. She has to know the truth. She has to know everything. And I remember telling you that I will find the right time to tell her. She's due in no time and I don't want to put her in harm's way. As if you even care. What do you mean by that? Because she's talking. You stuck up with this whole woman that madness. And you know it. You don't get it. You call this madness forgetting that we have a child together? Of course she knows. Miranda knows everything, yet she still loves you. She knows. What does that tell you? She knows. And you want to dump her? You want to hold her over someone who almost forgot you existed? And here comes your precious Amanda. Are you shocked? Are you surprised? Is that not an eye opener to tell you in this fight alone? Of course you are. You know what? It's high time we find out if what you're saying is true. That I am in this fight alone. And what do you want to do? Watch me. Hey! Don't you touch me! Come on! Are you serious? Hey! <laughs> Just what is wrong with me? I'm talking to you. Let go of me. What do you mean, let go of you? Huh? What is wrong with you? What is it? Huh? You are fighting your friend out of all places. It's a bar. Does it matter? Please. What do you think you're doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Eh? Give me the car key. I'm driving. Why? You're driving who? Driving you home. Give me the car key. I know my way home. Louis, I know you know your way. Just give me the car key. Get into the car. Just 
Just get into the car and stop making noise. I am an adult. I know, I know my way home. Just give me that. What, 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 wait, when did you just start showing care all of a sudden? Huh? What's all this? Can't I take myself home? Can you just keep quiet? I don't like this. <laughs> Seriously, I don't like it. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Ah. Sorry. It's too hard to be talking. Ah. Sorry. Sorry. Ah. Sorry. Hold on, hold on. So, okay, one more. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. This, this should see you through the night until you visit the hospital tomorrow. But seriously, aren't you going to tell me what this is about? Trust me, you don't want to know. Oh, trust me. My interest is highly peak, especially having to see CEO. Is this what this is about? He who got money got it all. Is this what this is about? Is that why you chose a more successful guy because I can't give you that? What? While I don't see the need to dignify your stupidity with an answer, Jake is a friend. A childhood friend I lost contact with. Who happens to be the son of my mom's friend? You see this? This is exactly why I've been avoiding you. I can't be the reason your, your home is ruined. Because I still love you. I can't seem to get you out of my head. Yes, I can't. My marriage is at the brink of ruin and all I can think about is you. Messed up, right? But that is how I feel. Tell me you don't feel the same way. Tell me all of this is in my head. Tell me you have forgotten all the good memories we made together. Amanda. I know you feel the same way. Because this love is too real to be wrong. I miss you. I miss you so much. Tell me you miss me. Tell me. How long have you guys been together? Sorry? I mean that guy. He had his hands on your waist and you never complained. What business of yours is it? Or you want to make this fight about me? Are you into him? Do you have feelings for well, him? Fine, if I do, what does it matter to you? The only thing that matters to you is you, your choices. 
you ruined my life once and you think I'm going to accept you coming to play the I still care about you card? Listen, I'm way past that. You and I know why we had to end things between us. Of course I know. Except it doesn't make sense even till now. Amanda goes missing and you broke up with me. I was shattered if you didn't know. And Francis... Francis was there to pick up the broken pieces you left behind. You know what? Where is your kitchen? I am sorry. You don't have to be. I am deeply sorry. I said you don't have to be. It was inevitable from the start. My father was never going to give his blessing had we asked. So you only made it easier for him. I'm sure this is the way. I know I made some mistakes in the past. And my past is here hurting me. I'm not gonna run away. It's time to fix all the things I got wrong in the past I know I made some mistakes in the past And my past is hurting me I'm not gonna run away Amanda. Amanda. In the past. Oh. It's time to mend the broken bond. Amanda. Time to reveal the Amanda. secrets I kept. Cause I'm not gonna Amanda. run away. Amanda. It's time to write Amanda. all the things I got wrong. I need to leave after all that happened last mm -hmm. night. Last night, did it happen? But it did. Amanda, it did and it was blissful. I didn't mean for it to happen, alright? I could never intentionally do what I did with you last night. And it's too late. Don't you think it's too late? Don't you get it, Chris? Whatever happened with us last night was never supposed to happen. What? so high on emotions. You know what? I just need you to leave. You need me to leave your house? Amanda. Excuse me. Amanda. Amanda, what's, what's going on? Amanda. Are you serious? Get out. You're asking me to leave your house. We had an amazing night and you turned me to I said house. get out! Get out! Amanda. Get out! Amanda, I need to show you. Don't... Get Amanda, out! Can you stop this? What's wrong with you? Get out! I said out! Why didn't you call me to tell me you were coming this early? Remember the burial I told you I would be attending? Yeah? I called you to tell you that I will bring Precious back. But you didn't answer me. Clearly, you were busy. It's it's not it's not what you it's not what you think, Mom. I, I don't know. Of it's... course, you don't know because you have outdone yourself, Amanda. Excuse me.
in and out, okay? Just breathe. <laughs> Stop acting like you talked to and take me to the hospital. Yes, yes. Oh, Baby? You can do it. Oh, God. What's wrong? What's wrong with her? She's in labor. I've been calling you for a long time. Baby, let's go to the hospital. Let's go. She's stupid. What are you talking about? Huh? Sis, please don't stress. We need to take you to the hospital first. Yes, please, please help her. Please hold her. Please. It's okay. 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 It's She's not saying anything to me. Calm down. All right. Just for that. Thank goodness you're here. She's asking for you. Asking for me? Maybe. Yes, you. Please just come, please. I'll be right back. It's a boy. It's a boy? Yes. It's a boy. You have a son. I, I, have, I have. It's a boy. <laughs> you have a son, man. I have a son. I have a son. Yes. Yes. I have a son. Yes. Yes. But how are you in there when I, I am supposed to be in there? I am the father. What's going on? Uh, uh, listen, Chris, you have to calm down, okay? The most important thing is they came out alive. Right. Uh, they are okay. Yeah, that's that's the more reason why I am calm. Louis, thank you so much. Thank you for being here for her. When she needed someone, thank you. Of course, she's my friend. I am glad I was able to help. So, um, can I see her now? No, no I. You have to exercise a little patience, okay? She, she needs rest. Right. And your child is at the nursery. So, okay. Uh, I'll just allow her to rest. Have a son. Uh, yeah, so I will quickly change the rejoin. Have a son. Have a son. Yes, have a son. Have a son. She knows Chris. She knows about everything. You, Amanda, and the child. Wouldn't take a fool to figure it out because it was pretty obvious. I tried to warn you, Chris. Now you've thought how where it was the 
most. I know I made some mistakes in the past And my past is here haunting me I'm not gonna run away It's time to fix all the things I got wrong in the past I know I made some mistakes in the past And my past is in me I'm not gonna run away It's time to fix all the things I got wrong in the past It's time to mend the broken bond Time to reveal the secrets I kept Cause I'm not gonna run away It's time to write all the things I got wrong in the past it's time to mend a broken bond. Well, what has happened has happened. It's not like you can change the hands of time and have it otherwise. You know, I ran into her one day at the supermarket. His wife. She's a beautiful soul. No woman deserves what Chris and I did to her. Do you think she knows? If Chris has any decency left in him, then he has to tell her. He cannot keep her in the dark forever. Amanda, I know you might still have feelings for him. I know you do. But cheating with Chris on his wife is totally wrong on all levels. I know. I'm not proud of it. I'm sorry, okay? Tali, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you or, or listen to my mom. If only I had listened to all of you, none of this would have happened. Are you going to say something? Talia? Or oh, you're just grazing us with your silence? My dad is meeting with Francis for that to discuss the battle alliance. <sighs> Come on, darling. So you did sleep with her. You cheated on me. Not just emotionally, but physically too. Why? How could you do this, Christopher? It was a spell of the moment. I didn't mean for it to happen. No, you did! From the moment she got back into our lives, you wanted her so much, you wanted to hold her, you wanted... You want to so badly? Congratulations. Congratulations because now you have her. Mira. Mira, I am sorry. I am so sorry. I should have told you everything about my past before going on this journey of marriage with you. I thought I was over her. I believed so. I messed up, I know. Please. I'm sorry, forgive me. Mira. What 
what you want. I heard the baby cry. So? I do not need your help to take care of my son. Okay? You know he's my son too, right? Mira. Hi, chick. Oh my god, I thought my mom was kidding. Hi. Wow. Uh, You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, please sit down. <laughs> Jesus. Um, okay, so uh, what should I get you? Um, we have champagne, we have gin, we have. It's okay, I'm good. We also have chicken in the kitchen. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm actually here to discuss something. Okay. All right. What is it? That offer you made me, does it still stand? Bro, I am trying. I am trying so hard. Is it supposed to be this difficult? <laughs> Why are you asking? I am not a cheat. So you get your tips from professionals, not me. This is not funny, you know. It is not funny. I know. I know. I know. Go. Listen, Chris. On a serious note, Chris. You have to be patient with her. She's trying to. It is not easy for any woman in her shoes. Whatever hard time she's going through, I am going through the same thing. Do you know I have never touched or been close to my son ever since he was born? It's like she's punishing me with him or something. It's so exhausting, bro. If you ask me, you are the one who's wrong here. So you keep hanging in there. But if you think you can't anymore, bro, do you know what to do? Are you too serious? Yes, Mom. <gasps> Aren't you happy for us? Are you kidding me? Come on, I'm thrilled. I'm super excited. I'm thrilled. Oh, I know you've got good eyes just like your mama. Come here, you come here. <laughs> My young Jill. I think we should celebrate. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. um, we plan on doing that. Um, mm -hmm. But we're thinking, we don't know if it's okay if we should um, do it at this month's remembrance. You know, we thought it'd be nice if we had families and friends around. And also to make this month part of our celebration. Nothing too serious. I don't know if that will be okay with mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Mommy, it if it's not okay, we don't have to, okay? I don't want to ruin that day. No, it's fine. Of course. It's fine. <sighs> I'm so. glad. I'm glad you've chosen to make him, you know, part of the celebration. Thank you so much, aunt. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Appreciate it. I do not appreciate that look. He's still my husband, you know. Son's father. Yeah. But husband? I don't think so. 
This is my life. It is my business. And as long as I remain married to him, you will give him that maximum respect like you used to. Understood? Do you understand? Yes. What is this? <laughs> Divorce papers. This is the only thing left for us to do. We have been living practically like strangers. This is the best we can do. For you or for me? For us. For our sakes. For our sakes? <laughs> this must be a joke, Christopher. You have no right. You have no freaking right to ask me for a divorce. I know. Not after all you have done. I know. Okay, I am sorry. I am not proud of all the things I have done. <laughs> so you don't even know what you have done wrong. Do you, Christopher? <laughs> Letting me figure it out all by myself, like, like I'm a Dumb fool. <laughs> Christopher, you, you make love to me with her thoughts in your head. Screaming her name before getting off. Mira, can you just listen to what I'm saying? Oh, please. Christopher, please, please, please. I am not going to sign these papers. Yes. I am not going to grant you that wish. <laughs> You're going to stay here. And dream of how all you want. But me letting you walk out of that door, that's never going to happen. And this marriage, we are going to make it work. Hey, hey. Mira, what is wrong with you? Huh? What is wrong with you? Mira! Sake. Is that how badly you want to get rid of me? Just calm down and listen to me first, please. You must have mastered the art by now. Anyway, I, I just want to tell you that this is not working. Miranda and I are having problems and she has refused to sign the divorce papers. Wait, so, so, so you're going to marry him? Yes. We're getting married. Chris, in as much as I can't deny my feelings for you, I, I, I can't be the reason you, you end your marriage with Miranda. I, I still love you, but I, I can't. I can't do this. Your guests are waiting for you. Some of them are already leaving. Um, just a thing. I can't believe you. You get one chance, and the first thing you do is get close to him. I mean, I mean are you regretting this decision, Amanda? Are we? Are we? Are we like? I am not regretting anything. I'm going ahead with this, Jacob. Oh, you do now? Because it didn't look that way back there. Like, I know exactly what I saw, Amanda. I know what I saw. I think you're the one having cold feet here, not me. Excuse me? Amanda, I am not. I am not. Look, I don't... 
take me to your mom. Excuse me? My mom? What for? See that Jacob and I are getting married. Amanda, what did you just say? We are getting married, Mom. Eh? Huh? Jacob, you've heard her. Is that true? <sighs> yes, Mom. Mom, I love Amanda. I love her with everything in me. And I'm ready to spend the rest of my life with her. Yes! I love this! Yes, I love it! I love it! I really love it! You got to come here, come, come here, come here, come here, God have answered me! Oh my God! <laughs> yes, I love it! I love it! Yeah! Amanda, you're welcome into my home. You're welcome. No. Oh, don't move. Like father, like son. Oh, no, I'm there. Yes, mom. I'm happy. Hey, hey. Now you have made me proud. Shut the hell up! I want to talk to my woman. Titi, Titi, please, can, can you just listen to me, all right? I want us to talk. I, I, I need to talk to you. Just five minutes. I, 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 I swear I will not take more than five minutes. Please. Titi, please, uh, I am sorry for everything. Okay, I am sorry I hurt you. I know this apology is long overdue, but I have to say it. So you're right, I, I'm a coward. But I have to say this, I, I, I didn't leave you because of Chris. I left because of your father. Because he never wanted us together. He never wanted me. I am an orphan. I have nothing to my name. He wanted the best for you. Yes, I saw reasons with him. I had to leave. I am sorry for everything, but now I am back. I don't care about what the world say or what, 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 what they will think. And I just want you in my life. I want you back. Please. Okay, I love you. I loved you then and I still love you. I want you back, please. Okay? I really need you. See, so please, just give me another chance. Give me one more chance. Another chance, that's all I ask. Please. Let's go. T, please. T. Babe. Can you please? Babe. T, please. I, I, I am serious. I love you. Okay? I still love you. I, can you just... Can you please? Hey. Bro, can you just stop this car? Can you just stop this car? Let,
What are you doing here? I needed some fresh air. Is there anything troubling you? I should be asking you that. Are you okay? I miss him. I miss him so much. Even though I do not know him that much. But I miss my son. I know I have missed out in all his life. But my only happiness is that his father was able to feel in the vacuum that I couldn't. He loves him so much. She also loves him. That's all that matters. I know that wherever Desmond is right now, He's happy. Are you okay? I mean, with the announcement and everything. Amanda, I know I'm part of the driving force towards this year decision. I mean, I can't help but ask if you're okay. You do not love him. And, and I will try, Mom. I will try my best to be a good wife and a good daughter in law. He loves my daughter. That's the most important thing to me. It's for it's all for our good. And I need you to trust me. What are you doing here? Oh, you're coming to watch the chef do his magic, right? <laughs> okay. I came to help out. To help out? Yeah. No, 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 no. Why? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't need your help. You know what, Camille? You know what? Just go back there, sit down, relax, and let me do my magic. This is my show. You sure? Really? Okay. <laughs> Hey, come here, come here, come here. Mm. <laughs> Off you go. Thank you.
Thank you. Ah, thank you so much for having us. Um, I'm sorry I had to come with my wife because I don't want things to be awkward between us. Ah, totally get it. It's rather thoughtful of you. Um, would you guys like anything to drink or eat? We would just like this to go now. Yes. Uh, sure. Okay. Um, just. Oh wow, who we have here? Chris the X. <laughs> hey. Hi. I'm Jake. Nice to meet you. Amanda's fiance. Sure. Yeah, she's told me a lot about you. Really? Uh huh. Yeah, only the good ones, you know. <laughs> He's not the least worried about her. Not like she has had anything to complain about him back then or now. Um, that's my wife, Miranda. Clearly. <laughs> um, Tony? Hey. Do you know who they say? You know who I am? I'm Daddy. You want to say hi to Daddy? Hey, look at you. You're a big girl. Hello. Mm. Mm. You okay? Say hello. Say hello to Patty. She's so shy. Mm -hmm. Be shy. You didn't smell the baby. You didn't smell the baby. Smell the baby. You didn't smell. Hello. 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 Thank you so much for having us. You have really done justice with her. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for letting my husband get a formal introduction to his daughter. Who knows what would have happened if he had done that earlier? A one, two, or three, perhaps. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for my actions. I'm truly not proud of it. <coughs> okay. Hey, baby. Come, cut to my uncle. Then you'll see you later, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Just taking some food to Louis. The poor guy has been sick and we didn't even know. Really? Yes! I wouldn't have known either if I didn't call his office. And his secretary told me he hasn't been there for days. Like he's been sick for days. And she even said something about calling the doctor. It means he's very serious. I don't know what's wrong with that guy. I don't know what to do to make him start opening up to people. You know him now. So are you coming with me? What about Max? I already called my... Yeah. Since where are you? Are you in the Yeah, I'm here. Faye, come over. You know you guys are calling me without privacy. I have my life to live too. And I told you I don't want me to go to the girls. Small madam. I'm here. Come here. Oops. I thought you were alone. No. I asked him to take a day off. Um, where's my nephew? Shall we? Hold on. What are you doing here? Won't you offer me a seat?
I ask again, what are you doing here? I was going to propose to her on her birthday, you know. Make it memorable for her and all. Yes. I've already planned out everything, but I can't. I just can't when I know the answers to my unasked questions. What would that have been? Come on, bro, stop playing dumb. I know you're not stupid. You're just one hell of a lucky bastard. You know that, right? You hurt her, break her heart into shreds. I picked it up, tried my possible best by fixing it, not letting her know how much I care for her because I was scared she was going to run away from me. And I never encouraged that in the slightest. Tyler loves you more than she loves me. And that's if you play your game very well. All my life, I've never had the chance to fight for anything. But for her, I was so determined to do so. If I lose, she chooses you. If I win, she will still choose you. So tell me, what's the point fighting? If you ever hurt her again, I mean if you ever, I will hunt you down, then you feel the pain ten times over. Okay. How can you ask that? It's obvious he's heart sick and not sick. Which baffles me do? What are you still doing here? What's your food? Dude, I I have to go in search of Talia right now. Wait, 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 wait. You, you have to go in search of who? Talia? Yeah. In this condition? I will die if I don't do it as soon as possible. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. No, you, you, you can't go out in this condition. I have to. Look, let me drive, okay? Well, let me drive you to go search for Talia, all right? You don't have to worry yourself. I have, I've had too much help dealing with Tyler. I have to do this on my own. I, I understand, okay? But just let me drive. I am a faster and better driver than you. Give me the keys. Just let him drive. Let's go. Hi, 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 Um, we will have to go now, okay? Yeah, later. I'm sorry for everything. Of course, he'll be fine. I mean, you had a doctor. He said it's nothing serious. Besides, his love is here to nurse him back to health. 
Are you that happy for him? Are you serious? Of course I am happy for him. You know, he has been so lonely and miserable for the longest. I think the pain and anger from the breakup actually made him open that game company. He named it after his nickname for her, Tassin. Love can make you do crazy things. I now know that. Huh? Did you say something? No, nothing. Oh. I just want to absorb this beautiful moment. Honestly, it feels like a dream. If it is, I do not wish to wake up. I want to last here forever. Please. I won't let that happen. I'm not of that to pass this long to find and get to each other. It is really real. I am sorry for everything. It's okay. No more worries. No more apologies. No more blames. Two years, 11 months and 15 days. That's all we've been doing. And I'm tired of it. What I want now is us fixing things. Fixing us. You're right. And I promise you, I am going to spend the rest of my life making up for all the lost times. I love you, Talia. I love you too. Yes, Nancy. Um, I'm just I'm leaving the house now. Okay, I'll be with you shortly. Sure, sure. Oh, okay, ma. Mm. What are you doing? Please, sit in. Um, I'm going to meet Auntie Karina. Apparently, she fixed a meeting with one of the designers for my wedding dress. Oh, that dramatic woman. I thought I told her to forget all those. <sighs> Come on, that's my line. Alright? I should be able to handle it. Besides, this is my one and only daughter's wedding we're talking about here. Please. Mommy. Please. Just let her handle it, okay? I just want all of this to be over. More than neighbors as it is. Cancel your meeting with her. I have... I have something very important I, I need us to talk about. I, I, I can't just cancel my... One with, I, I can't cancel my meeting with her. Katrina and her designer can wait. But this particular one cannot wait. I mean, it took me a lot of courage to come to this conclusion. So please, cancel it. Fine. What is it? Thank you. 
Amanda! Amanda! Come on, Amanda! Amanda, open! Amanda! Amanda, please let me talk to you. Your mother got it all wrong. She's mistaking me for somebody. I'm not your brother. Come on, Amanda, please! Don't shut me out. Open this gate. I just want to talk to you. Amanda! 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 Please open this gate! Open this gate! Amanda! I just want to talk. Please. Amanda! Amanda! I just want to talk. Please. Amanda, please. Hey, no. Madam, open the gate. Okay, ma. Okay, ma. Amanda! This is Juliet. Good evening. Please, I need to speak with Amanda. I need to clear things up with her and yourself. Chris. I am not your son. I am not your son, okay? I went to the orphanage. I met with the director and some of the workers that took care of me when I was a baby. They all confirmed it. That I am not your son. I am not Amanda's twin. Oh, no. Are you listening to me? Down. Are you listening to me at all? <laughs> Look, I know all of this is messed up, but I am not your son. Yes. You gave birth in that same orphanage, but... Okay, Chris, calm down. Apart from the birthmark, what other thing can you remember him with? A name? A birthday? Because I don't share any of those memories. Besides, the director told me I was in that orphanage three years before you came. I know. I know. Just calm down, please. What happened to Amanda? Amanda is no longer here. What? She left. A Amanda left me, believe me. That is a lie. I do not know where to find. That is a lie and you believe know it. Me, I'm not lying, Grace. You're saying all of this out of spite. Oh no. That is not going to work. Amanda! Amanda, come out and talk to me, Amanda! Amanda, I know you can hear me! Amanda! Amanda, come out! Where is Amanda? Christopher. Chris. I wonder. This is Juliet. Please. 
I want to see Amanda. I need to see her. I just want to speak with her. Even if after this you want us to break up, that is fine. I won't be okay if I don't see her. Now you look like shit. Are you hungry? All right, come. Son, I found him. Desmond, the very guy who has been interested in marrying my daughter, happens to be her twin. What? He died. He committed suicide. His forbidden love for her blinded him. <sighs> I guess that was why Amanda left because she couldn't handle it. She dropped a note for me, saying that she's gone. That I shouldn't bother looking for her. In fact, that she wouldn't want to be found. So you're saying you found her twin? He died and now she's gone? Is that what you're saying? Grace, I know you do not believe me. Trust me, you do not want to find her more than I do. I have tried looking for my daughter. I have exhausted all my resources looking for her, yet she's nowhere to be found. Even her father has also tried looking for her, but no way. I find that hard to believe. I know. But that's the truth. Hey. You are a young man. You have a bright future ahead of you. Here's my advice. You have a lot to do. And a lot to achieve. I wouldn't want you to keep waiting for someone who doesn't want to be found. Relief. To relieve you of the pain. 
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No, no. You didn't push me. <gasps> I made my decision. <gasps> and why are you telling me all this now? To call off the wedding? <gasps> I do not want you to go into a beautiful marriage. I have told you it wouldn't happen. <gasps> Just, just let me do this. This is a conscious decision, and I want to go through with it. No, no. Listen to me, man. No matter what, I don't hate you. If anything, I am glad you thought of him as your son and pushed him into doing what I would have made him do. Your freedom. Divorce papers. My freedom. How is that? I thought you promised to make this work. Oh, you're trying, aren't we? Yes. We have been trying, Christopher. It is not supposed to be this difficult. When you are in love with your spouse. And that's why you're trying so hard to please me, to make this work. But it's taking a toll on you, and I can't stand it anymore. But we have been good. This past few months has been a bliss. More like a whirlwind that has carried us here. Do you even know how we got here? Do you? I am not signing this. You I have not sign it. You have to. Because this is the only way we can free each other from this bondage we call marriage. My bond and yours is not as strong as yours and hers. And I can't compete. I can't compete with that kind of love. I am not signing it. We have to make this work. We're going to try to make this work. You hear me? I'm done trying. You're done trying? Well, I'm not done trying. We're going to make this work, Mira. We'll make this work! Come and take this out of my face! Back to health and back in shape. I beg, I beg, don't switch shows with my mother-in-law. You know that woman is something else. I never have to get up to do anything. And crazily, my mom thinks that she's right. So I beg, ceasefire. Do you blame them? They are just looking out for the mother's grandchild and of course, at this more rate, children. At this rate, Tyler, I will be overweight when I get to six months. Anyways, Larry dropped me off, so I have his permission to be here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yay! Oh, we have here. I thought you were 
thought you wouldn't make it. Why don't I? <laughs> and when you would make it. Uh, where's our baby? Like. <sighs> is that how, how mothers are not to him? I can't miss my girl's biggest day. <laughs> not for anything. We go wrong this time. Because now we get there. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Hey girl, stop, stop, stop it. <laughs> Hello, Angels. Sweetheart, Jack is here to see you. Oh, Jake? Jake is here. Our, our side of the husband. Husband. <laughs> go, go. Hey. Please. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wanted to talk to you. Uh, sure, let's go in. No. Uh, I mean, let's just stay here and talk. Um, I'm afraid if I go in there with you, I may not be able to spill everything I have in my mind to tell you. Is everything okay? I swear to God, you're going to make the most beautiful bride ever. Except not for me. I... I don't understand. You're not making any sense right now. What are you saying? <sighs> Jake. You know, it took me a couple of months to analyze this. And believe me when I tell you this, I tried. I tried every day to convince myself that we can make this work, that, that, that this can happen. But the truth has been right there looking at me all this while. But I was too scared to accept it. Knowing fully well that the moment I do, there will be no going back. I didn't get you. And why would I have to do that? Because I have had a first-hand experience of what it is. I wouldn't want to remain married to a man who doesn't love me. Every day is a struggle. You keep telling yourself you did the right thing. Always looking over your shoulders, dreading for a day it finally comes to an end. So if I heard you correctly, you're asking me to leave my bride for your ex. No, Jake. I am asking you to save yourself first while you stick on. You do not want to get burnt, do you? I needed an eye opener. I'm sorry, I'm just letting you know now. I, 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 don't, I don't get this. You didn't wait. You want to call off our wedding? Our wedding is tomorrow, Jake. You want to call it off because of what she told you? You, 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 you're, you're afraid I would hold 
not even. Oh, Jake, Jake, I, I promise, I promise to love you. I, I promise Except you. Except you can't. You can't. No matter how hard you try, you can't. You see, this thing you have for this guy, whatever it is you have for this guy, it, it's really strong. And I've spent the past couple of months competing with that. And every turn, I lose. I lose at every turn. And it's not because of what she said. It's because of what I've seen. This it's wedding. Understand, okay? I, I guess you you're afraid, but we can try. Okay, we, we, we can do this. We can we're only this. going to end up hurting each other, and I don't want that for you. I don't want that for you. We can make this work. I promise to try. I promise to do my best. I promise. I promise to give you my best. Okay, Jake. Please don't do this. Okay, please, Jake. Please, okay. Listen, I promise I will try. I will try my best, okay? I will try, Jake. No. 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 No, 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 no. Jake, please, no. 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 Jake. J Jake, Jake, please don't do this. Please. Jake, Jake. Jake. Generational course. Sweetheart! God forbid! Why would you say a thing like that? Why? Mom, it is true! Please calm down. It's the truth, Mom. No. It is! I have accepted it, so you better do. Mandy, Mandy, please don't. Don't, don't! Don't touch me! I don't need your sympathy. Mom, Granny had you without getting married. You had me without getting married, so what makes me any different? No, please stop. You are not under a curse. No one is. Can you just stop with the pretense? We, we, we are so fortunate when it comes to love. I will never get married. Please. Hi. 
What are you doing here? I know this may sound or look crazy, but I'm helplessly in love with you. And I cannot go on without you. Our bond is so strong that I cannot ignore. Chimamanda. Would you marry me? You, you, you want to be your wife? Miranda, what about you and your wife? She asked for a divorce and I granted her wish. Please. Allow me to spend the rest of my life. <laughs> Some mistakes in the past 